Hi, this is Sarah from Fallen Timbers. My kids and I are here at Wequiac Falls, which is a Brown County Park. And we are going to take you on a little virtual tour today. Hi. So this is one of the trips that we lead through Fallen Timbers with our consortium students. We talk about geology here at Wequiac Falls. We then we head up to Bayshore Park and then we get to visit a quarry. So we're going, because a lot of our students aren't getting to go on these trips this spring, we are going to be putting together this video and some resources so that with their teachers, they can do a little virtual learning about these um, concepts and to support their study of geology. So as you follow along with this video and get a little bit of the background information like we would be getting on our field trip, you can also come up and visit them with your families, visit these parks. So check out the Brown County Parks website for directions to the parks, and then you can come up and get an in-person look at these different geologic resources because hands-on learning is the best kind of learning. All right, so when we take this trip out, our two main objectives that we want students to take away are number one, that geology is amazing. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about that, especially the geologic time scale, how old these rocks are. And then number two, that we live somewhere really special, that our ge local geology is unique. And that if we were living somewhere else in the country or in the world, we wouldn't be able to go on this same trip and visit these same places. So that's really special. So how old are these rocks? Let's put it into perspective. Over 400 years ago, the French fur trader Jean Nicolet first came to this area. About 10,000 years ago, the first Native Americans came to the Great Lakes region and lived here. About 65 million years ago is when dinosaurs roamed the earth. And about 450 million years ago is when these rocks, these sedimentary rocks, were formed at the bottom of a shallow ocean that covered the, this part of the world. So the rocks that we're going to be getting an up close look at today are part of a rock formation called the Niagara Escarpment. And like I said, they are sedimentary rocks and they are about 450 million years old. So we're gonna go down and get a closer look and um, look at some of the sedimentary rock layers that are in this rock formation um, over behind the falls. I am down on the viewing bridge platform now. Um, there's been a lot of families here, so we are letting people move through to keep our distance and everything. Um, but here we can see the falls up closer a little bit. I will take the camera up even closer to get a good look at those layers of sedimentary rock but it might be kind of loud once we get over there so i wanted to give you a little bit more of the information so i told you this is called the niagara escarpment this rock formation here this cliff and this rock formation starts down in southern wisconsin um, central wisconsin by like high cliff state park extends up here all the way up through door county so if you've been to um Peninsula State Park or any of the parks up in Door County that are situated along the Niagara Escarpment. You've seen the ledge up there. And then it continues up into the UP and then through Canada and extends around the Great Lakes all the way over to Niagara Falls. So that's why the Niagara Escarpment has that same name as the Niagara Falls. So the Niagara Falls, which are a much bigger waterfall than this, are going over the exact same rock formation that was formed at the same time period 450 million years ago. Um, so that connects to that second point that I made about how this is a unique geologic resource. That's pretty special that we have this resource here that we can explore in northeastern Wisconsin. Um, so the rock, the different kinds of rock that are, that make up this rock formation are two different types both sedimentary, but the bottom layer along here is called shale, and it has a more bluish gray color. When we get up close, you'll be able to see that bluish gray color, and shale um, was formed during the Ordovician period, about 450 million years ago. Um, then on top of the shale, so the top layers of the escarpment, 
are made of limestone. And that limestone was formed during the Silurian period. So those are different um, periods of geologic time. Um, just like when we talk about the Jurassic and Triassic periods that we know dinosaurs lived during those times, these are other periods of geologic time that were even further back than when the dinosaurs were living. Um, so the shale is this bluish gray rock along the bottom of the ledge. And then the top is that limestone, also called dolomite, this uh, special kind of limestone that makes up the top layers. Now the shale is sometimes also called mudstone because it is soft and soft for a rock and it is able to be worn away more easily. So when we learn about geology, we learn about the rock cycle and one of the pieces of the rock cycle is erosion, that rocks are able to be worn away or eroded. Now what's happening here at this waterfall is erosion in action. So we can see when we get up close, especially I'll show you, um, the pieces of the rock that are breaking off and falling down. So we have erosion happening right here at the waterfall. The, because the, um, the, the mudstone, the shale on the bottom wears away more easily from the water, from um, the waterfall and the river, they are wearing away and then the layers on the top collapse. Kind of like Jenga. If you've ever played Jenga, when you take pieces out of the bottom of the Jenga stack, um, the top pieces are gonna fall. So if we wear away layers of the bottom of the rock, the top pieces are gonna fall and we have erosion. Um, so that erosion is calling, causing the waterfall to recede. So millions of years ago, this waterfall used to be closer to the bay. Right now we're about a mile from the bay, from the Green Bay. Um, along this Wequiac Creek. And um, over time, this waterfall has eroded the cliff back further. So that is some geology in action right there. So here down next to the falls, it's pretty loud and you can see these lower layers of the rock wall along the bottom of the, where the water meets the rock are those shale or mudstone layers. And then above at the top of the waterfall are the limestone layers. And you can see where those icicles are hanging off near the top of the waterfall where the, um, the limestone is like a ledge sticking out over because the water has worn away those layers of mudstone at the bottom of the waterfall. So that's showing us up close those different types of rocks and the erosion that's happening here at the waterfall. Now I definitely recommend coming back here at different times of year. So this is spring, we've got some icicles still hanging here, but in winter uh, it is a full ice waterfall that um, surrounds this whole basin and um, in summer you can come and look for frogs and um, explore and look for rocks and fossils. Um, there are some fossils of sea creature life that we find here at Wikiak Falls and Bayshore Park because remember I said that the this rock was formed at the time when there was a shallow ocean here and so um, there are some small sea creatures that lived in that ocean and were trapped it as in the layers of sedimentary rock as they died at the bottom of the ocean and the rock was formed at the bottom of that ocean. So some pretty awesome discoveries to make here. Hi, we're here at Bayshore County Park now. We drove from Wequiac Falls about 10 minutes north to Bayshore County Park. We parked by the playground and then walked in toward the campground. And as you're walking toward the campground, there's a pit toilet that's on your right and across from that is a trail that leads right here to where I'm standing. And then this trail with the stairs goes down where we are going to be hiking. We're going to hike along the Niagara Escarpment. So we're starting at the top of the Niagara Escarpment and this trail is going to take us down along the rock ledge and down to the beach of the Green Bay. All right, my kids are leading the way. We're walking, you can see along the left side of the trail is the Niagara Escarpment. 
and you can see those rock layers of this sedimentary rock. Now the part they're walking along here, this is all limestone and the part of the trail that we walk along here is going to be all limestone because we are above that um, shale layer. We're not going to be walking next to the shale layer here. Um, so I'm going to go catch up with them and we'll show you some other things and make it to the bottom of the trail. We're gonna turn here and head down the stairs toward the beach. We made it down to the beach along the Green Bay. We've got a little sunshine right now, which is awesome. When we come here with students, I usually challenge them to look for different types of rocks. When we are along the escarpment, we're finding that sedimentary rock, the limestone and the shale. We've got tons of that here at the beach, but the really cool thing about beaches is that the waterways bring in stones and rocks from other parts of the state, other parts of the area. So we might have some sandstone or some metamorphic or igneous rock that travel here from the bay that might have come down rivers and into the bay and then traveled all the way over here. So you can look for those different types of rocks. We can also look for uh, beach glass and shells and um, driftwood and and all sorts of other natural and man-made materials to find some treasures here at the beach. My kids are looking for treasures here as we speak. Um, I did talk a little bit about fossils when we were at Weequiac Falls. Um, as I said, when these rocks were formed, um, they were at formed at the bottom of a shallow ocean and so we can find fossils in the limestone and the shale that have little sea creatures in them. They might look like coral um, which is really cool. There's one called a honeycomb coral that we find sometimes. There's brachiopods. There are um, ones that just look like little shells that are really cute. So look for some of those fossils in the limestone and the shale here along the beach and um, see what you can find. All right, have fun exploring. Um, I'm gonna also share and post some videos that we got from the quarry. The third part of our trip is that we go to the Church Road Quarry, um, and which is also called the Scott Quarry, and we visit there and we talk about resource use. How is this limestone rock that we have here in this part of Wisconsin, how is it used to make roadways and buildings and all of that? Um, so the videos that we'll be posting that come from the quarry are um, gonna tell you about that process of how these resources are used, and that's a really important part of our economy and um, it's part of our community of how we use resources. So check out those videos as well to help complete your learning and enjoy the rest of this virtual field trip. Thank you.